can you can you kind of give us a description of the slow start and maybe some of the reasons behind it? Yeah, we definitely uh, we definitely started slow. Uh, obviously disappointed because uh, all the work we put in. We know how hard we worked throughout the week, but yeah, we definitely started slow. Small details and, and fundamentals and stuff like that. I was talking to Coach Rocks on the sideline. We're we're it's small details and fundamentals. If you watch the tape, we're watching the iPad. We're this close to making a big play happen. So it's just small details and fundamentals that we have to work on. Of course, I defensively, I mean, you guys are missing a lot of pieces. I know you're going to use injuries as an excuse, but how much you know not having Glenn or and Colin and Dante play on that 100% impact. I feel like it didn't um, impact, you know, a lot, you know, due to, you know, the way that we train and everything. It has, you know, we always um, tell up the defense that, you know, second man up, you know, everybody should be ready and stuff like that. So, yes. question: um, Not a lot of pressure today on Brosmer. What, what do you think that was? Just an inability to win one on ones. Why do you think you guys weren't able to get after him? Um, I just feel like I would say. Uh, Lack of consistency when it comes to you know our uh, on the D line our pass rush moves and being able to win our one on ones and stuff like that and I feel like we just need to go to practice and be able to um, go do our thing. Yeah. Ty, how frustrating is it after the big win last week? You know, all that positive momentum and then just to start so flat um, today. How do, how much do you think that kind of brought down the team's mood or, or did it at all? I wouldn't say it's, it's not necessarily frustration. It's more disappointment, even from myself. I could have played better today. There were some plays that I missed today. But I know how hard this team works, and I believe, and I have total faith in this team. And it just, it's just disappointing to see us come out flat, kind of uh, start out slow how we did. And I, I love the way we fought towards the end. We started picking up things towards the end when uh, MJ ended up getting in. We started picking it up, and I love the way that we fought. But it's definitely a disappointment when, when you put in this work. I put in so much work, and we come out flat. We're out there making mistakes. So, like Quayshawn said, just like on defense, on opposite sides, it's lack of consistency. So that's something we have to do better on going into the bye week, just making sure we're consistent and focusing on our small details and fundamentals. When you talk to the other defensive players, Koshan, they, they bring you up as a, a center of stability and leadership. You often bring up your cooking, I believe, as well. What's it mean to be a, a leader of that defense, especially when there's so many young guys coming in and out of the game? Uh, it means everything to me. You know, just being able to be that that guy that, you know, whenever people are going through things and stuff like that and have questions for whatever um, we're running and stuff like that, they come to me and stuff like that. And, you know, every time, you know, we're in situations like, you know, this game where, you know, they look towards, you know, the leaders to see if we flinch or not. You know, I would love to be one of those front-running guys to show them that we don't flinch or anybody. For both of you guys, we've heard a lot this year that consistency has been the biggest issue that's kind of been raised as you know, the main points. Eventually, when that keeps coming up as inconsistency, how do you change from being a team that, that keeps having inconsistent moments into what you want to be? What, where does that start? I mean, I'm coming from me and stuff, well, off the field just supporting it on the field. So whatever you're doing off the field is what's going to show up on the field. So just making sure we're doing all the consistent things, I mean, doing things right, uh, uh, watching film, going to class, doing the little things right. When you do the little things right off the field, you the consistent part coming on the field, you do the little things right on the field too. So it's just us doing the little things right, no matter if it's on the field or off the field and stuff of that nature. So that's, that's coming from me. Do you think that's not happening right now? Uh, I wouldn't say it's not happening. I wouldn't say it's not happening. I would just say it's a lack of cons consistency. Like we're doing it sometimes, we're not doing the same for myself. We're doing it sometimes, we're not doing it sometimes. I mean, not doing it sometimes. So it's just a matter of us uh, just getting together as one, just making sure we're all uh, one, on one band and getting it done. When those guys do come back to the huddle, especially after a, a play where a corner or something happens on the back end, what actually gets said in that huddle, and how do you get those guys to refocus on the next play? Um, just being able to stay poised and always, you know, re re results are back to your uh, fundamentals and things like that. And, you know, I feel like a lot of times mistakes always happen because you always have your eyes where they're not supposed to be. And, you know, always all the um, inconsistent things always happen when, you know, you're always thinking about other things that, other than what you're supposed to be thinking about. So I feel like every time, you know, we get back in the huddle, I always tell those guys, like, hey, man, th this game is 90% from the neck up, man. You got to always... You gotta always keep poised, and you gotta always, you know, just play smart. Right. Uh, Quish, on, on defense, can you just explain from maybe if somebody who doesn't know what's the hardest thing about having a young secondary in particular? Um, I would just say that the hardest thing would probably be just um, throughout throughout the tough times, just being able to um, stay resilient and you know uh, show the guys that you know. 
when things like this happen, you know, um, we just keep going. You know, you can't you can't um, be inconsistent and be, you know, um, you got to be encouraging and stuff like that, you know, because at the end of the day, like, the young guys really lean on the older guys in times like this. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, guys.